Hi there, once again on Google Cloud, right here I'm checking the Kubernetes engine if it's enabled. Since I want, want to work with containerized applications, I have to double check these APIs if they are enabled. Great. Right here we have um, an application that we're going to check. Right here I already created an app engine, a bucket, installed node, pub sub doc, and spanner database. Right now we are going to Kubernetes. We are going to create a cluster. Standard. Let's give it a name. Let me change the zone. Let's go to security. There is an area called access scopes. Features, find to enable East you or not. One to all full access for all APIs. Okay, this is a secured under the default node pool. That's what I would like to set. Let's create a cluster. Refresh back again. I want to connect into the cluster. Run this command G Cloud Container Clusters get credentials, the name of the cluster, the zone, and project ID. Takes a while for being created. Such less time than asking a DevOps team to create a WebSphere container for you or a WebLogic container. Just kidding. It's extremely faster, these resources on demand.
refreshing Great, let's get into the cluster. We are connected. You can run Kubernetes control get pods command. No pods, now we're gonna check some code here. We are gonna check, it's here front end, there is a Docker file. Lovely opening these files right here. Holy Mac. Docker file. There's nothing here. I'm gonna fill it my Docker file. Like these. There's this from now using Alpine. There's also the backend Docker file. Huh. Lovely there, don't open another tab. Holy crazy. Now we are fine. Let's create another Docker file to have ready on my hand. For the app engine node.js, let's save those files. Little way over here. On cloud shell, we are going to do this. The cloud build submit. For the backend, running all the steps of of the Docker file. Let's go to container registry since you're submitting. Once that's finished, it should have some images rare on this container registry, like, you know, Docker Hub. Refresh again. We have those images, folders with images inside. Now we're gonna change something here. Now 
Then front end identifier. It's gonna be first we have the where I have Google Google bucket. Let's get the value. Google project. There's a Google bucket. Same with media. Front end image identifier is gonna be gcr.io, Google Container Edge.io, slash project TD. Slash quiz front end. This is a front end deployment. Now we're going to back end deployment. The backend identifier. To be sure. This is the way you can pull the image. And right here we're going to deploy deploy the things. All those two files. Created the deployment front end. Let's deploy a back end. Front end servicing. And a proxy server for the workload. You have to wait a little bit. It's gonna take some time. I have already one pod. Three, two, three, Chris front end, back end takes more time. One or two services. Here have an application deployed using those YAMLs. I didn't show the load balancer, specify the type, the port. We deployed this application using Kubernetes engine. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.